what is cracking? That's right. We up in her. I know you guys are. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Yeah, we started early. Never been done in, in Fisty Bish history. But we are here. We are here and nothing but positive and good vibes. I just want to say off the flip, for those that saw my community tab and you guys have commented on my daughter's passing, um, I really appreciate you. Nothing but love for all of you all. It has been an immense help. And I still wanted to come through and get this live done because um, it is the thing that helps me cope. Um, me crying and breaking down and thinking about all of it um, does not help me out at all. Um, but being here and being able to do what it is that I, I love to do, and that's be a showman and, and be out and, and, and be with people that appreciate you know me. I love that. So um, thank you all. Thank you all. And I am here with the lovely Shanna from 503 Aquatics. What's crazy? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, every little thing. Every little thing is popping, snapping, and cracking. Love it. Hey, hey, that's your journey. You feel me? <laughs> mm, you can just call me Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> Snap, crackles, and pops. <laughs> yes, sir. Listen, everybody, thank you for being in the chat. I have a slew of people in the back already, and I've got a slew more coming, and we want to get right into it. I've got, a, I've got, I went, you know, I, you, this is You been, went shopping. Yeah, it's just been a good, <laughs> it has been so good. With the, those of you guys who gave um, for the turkeys, that went great. The hams. I, I, I know you guys can understand the video not coming out yet, but I have, a, I have a lot of people to thank for the hams. And you guys have given of yourselves to me for good causes. And I just wanted to um, be able to do the same thing back. So I have PetSmart gift cards, Petco gift cards, Amazon gift cards, Google Play gift cards, Apple gift cards, Starbucks gift cards. Um um we've got people popping in that will also possibly be giving something of themselves to from their channels so we will definitely get that underway so let's not waste any more time let's get right into it if you're not in this stream already you're already too late and i beat you <laughs> Right on, right on. So let's bring up the first person real quick. Let's bring up Big Tank. Hank to the stream. Welcome What's to up, the Hank? It's your What's boy, crack? Big Tank. Hank. Coming at you with a special call. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we appreciate you, Big Tank. Ooh. Hank, thank you so much. Air horn for you, sir. And uh, what's the first game we're going to play real quick? Are we going to guess the number? Are we going to play Trouble? Or are we going to do an animal trivia? What do you think? This is Fisty Bish. We have to get into some trouble. Like, we start it out right. We definitely have to get into some trouble. All right, people, listen up. The first game is Trouble. And with Trouble... You already know. Listen, everybody in the chat, trouble goes like this. You have to guess a number between one and six, and whatever the bubble pops, whatever the bubble pops, and the first one that had that number wins. And let's start off small. Let's go with a $15 quick trip card. $15 quick trip card, big tank, $15 quick trip card. Are you ready? Ready. Mods, if you're there. Be with me. Here we go. We rocking, man. We looking for the first person that can go. Now it's only. Wait a minute. You guys are already. already you gotta guessing. wait till he I says gotta start. Give a one, two, three, or something, right? Now, when I shine the camera on the trouble bubble, then I will spin the air horn. And once I press the air horn, you can then guess. So everybody, hold it real quick. Here we go. 
there is the trouble <coughs> bubble. And put in your answers one through six now. Here we go. One through six. Are they coming in? Are they coming in? They're just starting to come in now. We got to okay, give them a Okay, here minute. we go. We will give this bubble one pop. And the bubble is what? What? Can you see that? That's a three. Three. Who came up with three? Let Who's me see. Who's the first oh, to come up with three? That was Annette Mr. with Mystery Snail, Guardian. Snail Guardians. Who is it? Mystery Snail Guardian. Mystery Snail Garden, the first one in the chat and the first one to win with the number three, Mystery Snail Garden, when I asked them to put in three. Mystery Snail Garden, you just won a $15. Quick trip. Quick card. trip. Card. Congratulations. 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 Mystery Snail Garden, I need you to go to Fishy Biz Aquatics at Gmail. Fishy Biz Aquatics, and that's two Zs. Are you not spelling it right? FishyBizAquatics at gmail. And in the subject line, put, I pick three. <laughs> and then leave me your contact information. Make sure you say your mystery snail guardian. And I will send that to you. Mystery snail garden gets the quick trip card. I do have little post-its here to make sure that we are gravy. All right. Congratulations. Yes. Big Tank Hank. Yes, sir. You know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fishy biz mm -hmm. if we didn't throw you into a hot spot real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Pew, pew, pew. Real quick, we just got a few questions for you. A few questions for you, real quick. Sports or reality TV? Reality TV. There we go. Uh, what music reminds you of your childhood? George Strait. Country music. Okay. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? Both. <laughs> Can you be both? Yes. I'm an extroverted okay. introvert. Ah, very nice. <laughs> what is your favorite cookie for the holidays? White chocolate macadamia nuts. I love that cookie. And finally, Christmas trees, real or fake? My wife likes real, and I have to go with what she likes. It's the best answer ever. You already know what it is. Big Tank Hank, thank you for coming up. We appreciate you. And there Y'all be we good. Go. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Go check out Big Tank Hank when you guys get a chance, if you haven't already. Next up, new local Austin. What's cracking? Hey, everybody. Good hey. evening. What is cracking with you? Hey, last fish to come into this fish room, Cribs. Four of four made it in. Four of four surviving. Nice. Love I it. can't keep my camera straight, but I'm the fish are alive. Love it. Very good. Very good. We appreciate it. All right. So without further ado, let's get to the next game. Uh, what are we doing? Are we going to pick a number? What do you want to do, Mike? How about pick a number? Let's pick a number. What range do you want there, Mike? I want... How many people are in chat? 76. All right. I want numbers between 111 and 222. 111 <laughs> and 222. Those are I'm going to mess so many people up by doing this. Those this has never been ranges. done. There's a reason, I'm sure. 111 I'm to 222 are your ranges. And I, I'm putting that in there. We have not told you to go yet. Wait for the air horn. And we oh, are going yeah, to yeah. pick those numbers. 
Um, new local. I need you to go to private chat. Go well, to private chat. People are putting them in already. People don't listen. What? Oh my Me gosh. in the private chat? Oh, yeah, you're right. gonna put the number you pick. Mm, All right, private yes. chat. Put the number. I mean, I need you to put that number in. Do once you he has, once he, people once he has yeah. the number in, then we will get it from you all. Mm-hmm. I believe mm-hmm. I have picked a number. Has he within picked? that range? I see the number. Ready, you people. See it? Thirty-two. Wait for the oh. air horn. Here we go. And hold on. Let's see what we're giving away. We're still starting off small. We have a fifteen dollar Starbucks Boop. card. Starbucks That's card. What I'm talking about Starbucks card. He's there we go. About. All right, and here's the air horn. Get ready to pick your number. I see Mississippi Hippie has a number, but that doesn't count. The numbers start. Bunny Viper, no. Now, put in your numbers. Put in your numbers. Yeah, so after Rico Stan hit start, all of those guesses will count, and before, don't. all right this is what happens when your childhood was before the internet <laughs> you get all real right. and do we have a winner do we have a wiener so if it's not exactly i believe i see one okay if it are we looking i believe i see thing? one i believe it's a little salty oh i see a is i it? see a reef oh is it salty reef is that i it? think it is i where think it is? is let me see where is it i'm looking for salty are there any reef? more of them i'm looking for salty reef i'm looking for salty reef there it is salty reef Woo! It's the winner of the fifteen dollar Starbucks card. There you have it. Wiener, wiener, chicken dinner. Good job. Yes, uh, nice, Eduardo. Eduardo phrased his answer in the form of a question: "What is one twenty-five? I'm sorry, Master. That is Aquatics. not the correct answer. That is not the correct answer. Salty Reef had the correct answer at 176. Please, Salty Reef, go to fishybizaquatics at gmail.com. Leave me your contact information and you get a post-it that says Salty Reef on your card. Very nice. We're moving right along, but first we have got to throw Mike back into the hot spot. Oh! Yeah, it's like oh. this. Yeah, sorry about that. What's Have your you favorite seen the size of Joe's shrimp? <laughs> What's your favorite board game to play growing up? Oh. You know what? I played a lot of Risk and lots of people would think that that would be my favorite, but it was Sorry. sorry. The game Sorry? Yeah. I, I played sorry. that one a lot with my sister. Very good. Very good. Yeah, uh, that was a good one. Going to the movies or watch it at home? I have been a watch it at home guy for a while. And I think that that was already happening uh, like pre-malware, like when everybody was staying home, right? So I think that I would go like twice a year and I would go to a movie place that like did food and alcohol as well. You know what I mean? So it costs like three times as much as going to the movies. So I just went to the movies like once or twice a year. So yeah, I'm a watch it at home guy. It's if becoming give, increasingly easy to do. If you had to give up something, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, which one would it be? I could still like have breakfast for lunch, right? Not if you give one up. Mm. So you have to give up like the whole food group, like the breakfast food group entirely? Absolutely. Out of there. Oh. I could give up breakfast still. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Real tree or fake tree? Uh, I believe that trees are real. (laughs) 
<laughs> somehow not a, the answer. Would you put a real one in your house or a fake one in your house for the holidays? I would put a real one in my house. Okay. All right. Play it cool, hot shot. Yeah. All right. And what type of cookie would you eat on the holidays? All the cookies. Every last one of them. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just macadamia. Like nut, like cookie monster. Bread, just sugar num, num, cookie, num, num, snickerdoodles. God, dude. Num, 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 num. Snickerdoodles are good. It's not just a great a flavor of coffee. It's also an actual cookie. New Local Austin, thank you so much. Everybody go check him out. We appreciate you. Back to the backstage with you, sir. No! Yes. All right. For those of you guys the backstage that have already been up, it is your wish to stay back there or um, you can leave. Um, it's up to you. But we are going to get these people right back in here real quick. Oh, look who it is. Primetime Aquatics. What's cracking, Jason? What is going welcome, on? Welcome, welcome. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm hanging in there. This makes it all better. Good. Good to hear. It, re it relieves a lot. Good. It relieves a lot. So thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. Glad I could be here. Absolutely. Thank you. Jason, we have three games and three games only. We have the game of trouble where I will pop the bubble and they would have to guess a number. We do have pick a range and pick a number. And then we also have Shanna's ever so popular animal trivia. Wow. Wow. Those are some tough choices. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I have to pick? Absolutely. That's what you're here for. All right. We're going with trouble again. We're rocking with trouble, baby. Yeah. I like to hear the little popping noise. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Let me get well, her warmed up. People don't have to pick from like 6,000 different numbers. That was a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right. And let's see. What are we giving away for Jason? $4 million. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Oh. Petco gift card. $25. Oh, snap. $25 gift card for Petco. Yes, it's here live in effect. And guess what? We are doing the trouble. For those of you guys just now joining us, the trouble bubble will be popping shortly. Don't put any numbers in yet. We're going to let Jason start us. When Jason says start, I will shine the camera on the trouble bubble. Give it a pop. And you have to guess between one and six and be the first one. to. And people are still guessing. What is wrong with folks? <laughs> Just over eager. Is this how it goes? We are waiting for Jason to say start. Once you hear the air horn after he says start, the trouble bubble will pop. So far right now, it is on the number two, and we are going to give her a little pop ski in a minute. Are you ready, Jason, from Primetime Aquatics? I think we're ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here is the air horn. Get those numbers in right now. Get those numbers in, Shanna. And only numbers? guess one time. Only guess one time, one number. Are those numbers coming in, Shanna? They are. We're still waiting. Are oh, waiting? and there They're they coming. go. They're coming. And here I'm popping. I'm popping. <laughs> it is two. two. It landed on the same number it was currently on. What two. are the odds? What are the odds? I'll bet they're about one in six. It's a roll I of think the Jennifer's the first one. There it is. Jason says, Jennifer, 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 Jennifer Weaver, Weaver, Jennifer Weaver. You I are the Weaver. Wow. Let me see her. Okay. Oh, there it is. There she is. Is that her? Where's she at? I thought I saw her. It's near the top. Wait, hold you. on. The first two I see is Rough Ivy Rose. Maybe like I'm the wrong. Third oh, no, there's a Jennifer Weaver there. And then Monster let me Fish go. Gals. Oh. And then she said, one guess only. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I'm looking yeah. at the wrong spot. Yep, you yep, yep. It is Jennifer me. Weaver. Never we have a winner. Me. Jennifer Weaver, you just won a $25 pet code gift card. Please go to fishybizaquatics at gmail.com and leave me your information and we will get that to you promptly you have your own post-it with your name on it on your gift card thank you so much for playing
Jason Primetime Aquatics. Thank you so much. Thank you. But now we have to get you in the hot spot. And here go a couple of hot spot questions. I'm you ready. Before. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could have any animal as a pet, what would you choose? Dude, that's the easiest answer in the world. I've always wanted a pet hyena. Oh, really? Heck yeah. They're oh, just you're Harley so Quinn in it with us. Imagine. <laughs> You're someone who maybe is up to no good. You walk into a, someone's house and they're waiting for you on the other side of the door is this thing like with a big giant head and all these spots, just the ugliest looking creature on the face of the earth. And they're cool. Pet hyena all day. Lamp they have air. cute little round ears. They do. And as long as you get that butt paste gland removed, I'm sure it's a fine pet. There it is. Uh, yeah. uh, and if you're not, I careful, draw the line at butt paste. I heard that hyena can bite your ankle and snap it in two easily. That very well may be true. That's why you just take them to the like the little pet store training thing, right? The socialization. Yeah, thing. You bring, your little, bring your hyena. <laughs> you know, like, it only ate three dogs this time. We're making progress. Last time we won, it ate six dogs and two kittens. And now look what's happened. It's getting better every time we go. So. And meanwhile, he's been eating two, <laughs> two Shih Tzus and three Chihuahuas right. trying to make it happen. <laughs> but like you saved on dog Chihuahua. food? I mean, you know, it happens. Awesome. Uh, coffee black or with cream and sugar? I don't do coffee. No coffee at all? No way. Uh, One time my sister-in-law paid me five bucks to take a sip. And I tried and I just couldn't. I didn't even get the five bucks because I spit it out. It was gross. <laughs> Zero coffee. Uh, work to live or live to work? Work to live. All right. Old music or new music? Hmm. Probably old. And when I say old, I mean most likely, well, it depends on the type of music, though. Right? I mean, yeah. if it was country music i'd probably like it newer if it was metal it would probably be older if it's techno it's got to be oh teens but if it's like what if it's old school house then it's got to be 90s late 80s rap you got all your snoop dog nwa that's all late 80s early 90s you know that so i have that it just depends punk rock you're in the you're in the in the 80s there so it just depends on the genre I'm a complicated man. I like it. I like it. Favorite drink for the holidays? I guess it would depend. I'll just go Coke. I'm a simple guy. Coke for the holidays. There we go. Thank you, Jason, so much. Primetime Aquatics. We appreciate you. I Thanks appreciate for having you. me on. Thank you. Thanks for All coming. Right. Oh man, awesome guest panels. And we still I can't have believe how everybody here. coming through. This is awesome. This is and awesome. everybody hanging out in chat. What is up, you guys? Man, Thanks for we showing appreciate up. You. Austin, I'm kicking you out so we can get other people in. I'll bring you back in. Matter of fact, any guest that has this after the stream, if you want to talk backstage, pop back in so we can get people back in. They're telling me I have too many people back there. So I shall see you later for those that have come Y'all don't got to go home, but you can't stay here. Not backstage. We'll be back. Mm -mm. All right. Moving right along. Let's get. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, Reiko, are you ready? Okay. All right. Rico. It's uh it's Rico Fisty Bish. Rico. It's definitely Rico. Fisty Bish. It, it, <laughs> if it was Rico, it would be with a Y and it's with an I. So it's I it Rico. Is. So I get to pick my game? Pick your game. Strip poker. No, that not that not one. Not one of the bum bum bum. bum. Oh, that I'm is sorry. not one of the choices. I'm sorry. I'm Trouble sorry. bubble. Pick a range or animal trivia. Let's do the pick a range. Let's do the pick a range. Pick a and range. What do you want your range to be? How many people you got? 
Uh, we have 111. Nice. So we'll do 1 to 150. We'll make it easy, not like that other very handsome man. All right. 1 to 150 it is. You guys see the range. It's 1 to 150. It's not ready yet. Do not pick your hands. Do not pick your numbers yet. You got to wait for the air horn. Ryko, are you ready to check to see who has a number? I need you to put one in private chat right now. What is your number, sir? Oh, I got to guess stuff, too, or put stuff. I didn't want to work. They're still guessing. They're still guessing. Did you all see this? Get it? Still guessing. One number. One number. I got people. it. There's the number there. Here we go. One number. One number. All right, the number is picked. The air horn is coming. Go. Looks like from right where Steph said, wait for the horn. Wait for That's the horn. That's what I see. I think I see a winner already. Do I? It, are you going with the very first person or? I believe so. After it says wait for the horn, it says. Well, I, mean, it, I mean, first person who guesses it or are you going to do ties? or First, just first person, person who guesses it because okay. I think someone guessed it already. Where's wait for the horn at? Oh. Do you see I it? just jumped over and now I can't see it. All right, 10. Sometimes if you switch back and forth between live chat and top chat, it sorts it by time better. Gotcha. But I did that and I lost all the, the stuff, so I can't see it now. All right, I'm looking. I did see somebody. I could have sworn I did. They were like fifth one down for me when I looked. But what again, you, I can't see it now. What you got, Shanna? Stephen P., what he said, that's what I thought, too. He said in the private chat. That's what I saw. I'm still scrolling. Wait, Stephen P., where's Stephen? Over in the private chat. Okay. All right. Then that's the one I saw then, too. We have a winner. Garcia Aquatics. Garcia Aquatics. And I didn't even name what we were having, but let me pull it out. Garcia Aquatics wins a $25 Amazon card. Nice. There you go, Garcia. Fishybizaquatics at gmail.com. Make sure that you tell me what you won and give me your information. Fishybizaquatics at gmail. Garcia, congratulations. Ryko. And Ryko, we do have somebody backstage here for some reason. I believe he's with you. I got friends. John, I see you. Stop. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> it's Santa! Oh it's my God! Yes, well, Santa! And I have Ooh, a special nice. giveaway, also. Uh oh, special giveaway! I do. Okay. I have a hundred dollar co-op card to give wow. away to one of your lucky people. Hundred dollar co-op card, Jesus! Okay, Santa, how would we get that to them if for the winner? You have to write to our text. We'll figure. We'll you, do it you later. Decide. Over here. Okay. You decide. Rico at Rico Santa Claus thing. You decide there, sir. You, uh, Drew, whatever game you want to play, that's the game we're going to play. It's on All you right. this time. All right. Pressure's let's, on you. Come on. Let's go with animal trivia. There we go. Yeah, how's it work now? So the very first person with the uh, the right answer? Yes, it's Shanna's game. Shanna will has the answer all to herself. And there is a time limit for you to put in the word or the name of that animal. So let's go with name that animal, Shanna. Mongoose. <laughs> it's not mongoose. That's wait, Santa can't win. Santa she said can't reindeer. Win. Angry Santa. Okay, so the question is, how long can a snail sleep? How long, long can a snail can a sleep? Snail sleep? Go, go, go. How long can a snail sleep? Don't look it up. Just guess. <laughs> I'm not seeing the answer yet. Oh, I see somebody got it. So the first person I saw with it, it's three years. So who got it first? 
So the answer is Stephen P. Maybe snails have a very have very particular sleeping habits. According to Sleep Advisor, snails like to hibernate, and their hibernation periods go up to three years. If they feel like they're in dangerous conditions, they're also known to sleep until they pass. Uh, Liquid Zoo, maybe? Three years? Maybe he meant to say years? Oh, I Hate Stupid People, three years? I'm still moving up three days, three weeks, six months. I think it's I Hate Stupid People. What do you say? That's what I'm saying. After DD's five days, I Hate Stupid People. There it is. Steph. Congratulations, Steph. $100 gift card from Santa, man. Thank you so much, Santa. Thank you so much, Rico. Rico. You know, you know Rico, what to do, Steph. You Rico. Do, Rico. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Rico later on this uh, this whole rest of the month, man. He's going to be doing some things. And thank you, Santa Ed. We appreciate you. Thank you. Happy Thanks, Christmas. Guys. Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy holidays. And we are bong. We're rocking and rolling. Yeah, we are. Just All right. Swinging that goodness left and right. I see everybody, and I don't want you guys to be bored. I am sorry. Oh, God, we got everybody in here. Okay. Let's go with this guy. He looks festive. It's John from KG Tropicals. I didn't think you were going to uh... come to me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting like this, but then I was like, no, that's mean. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm glad you shaved for the uh, occasion. It's uh, This is how John looks when he's not on video. There it is. <laughs> Man stubble. The first thing when Lisa asked me today, are you going to go on Drew's stream? I was like, oh, I forgot to shave. Tag on it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, I guess you know the three questions you've been in the back. Uh, which one will you pick to give a giveaway? I don't like any of them. I, no offense, Shana. I, I, no one asked what you liked. We asked which one you wanted to play. Come I on, I want man. there to be a different one. I, I want because watching all of the numbers that drives me crazy, and people complain and it gets out of control. It does. And I don't understand how the trouble game works. And I thought that the animal trivia was going to actually be like a question to me, so that I could embarrass myself with a lack of knowledge of animals. So we could definitely like give you one in your hot spot. Oh, we could totally do that. That can all no problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll embarrass you. I, I mean, good luck. And look, do you see this thing? <laughs> Is that a good challenge? <laughs> I'd love to see well, you. Well, sir, that. you have come to the right place. It's a freaking uh, challenge. I mean, I I guess. See. I don't understand how the trouble thing works because all I say is, okay, you do trouble, but then I sit back and just watch it all happen. It's not like I have to guess a number or I, I don't know. It, let's you do have to, you have to pick the first winner. That's what you're doing. So whatever number is popped, that's the one you use. Okay. Let's do that then. Since all right. That's what Jason did, even though I'm upset because Jason was talking about hyenas eating chihuahuas. It's like, why is he saying that? Horrible. <laughs> that was his uh, pet of choice. All right. So the trouble bubble it is. Remember, don't pick your number. Oh, oh, look, that's why the chihuahua is like getting fit. <laughs> oh, it's a cute dog. I'm cute. Don't eat me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Right now, we're looking at the trouble bubble. It is on one right now. Do not put in your picks yet. We are getting ready to start when you hear the air horn, and I'm looking at the final chat. It's Melvin Reef saying hello, Glitch Aquatics. So we're going right after that. Go! I see the people that are already guessing, too. They're cheating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're going after where I said we're going after, and the bubble is about to get popped. And we have a number three on the trouble bubble. Who guessed number three first? That's Kevin's Canines and Aquatics, right? Kevin's Canines and Aquatics. Good what job, sir. What's going on, Kev? And Kev has won a PetSmart $25 gift card. 
for Kevin. Good job, Kev. Very nice. Very nice. Right. Kev, make sure that you go to fishingbizaquatics at gmail.com and you can get your gift card. It has your name on it already. Make sure you give me all your information so I can get that sent to you. Now, let's put John in the hot spot. Let's embarrass before, me. Come on. Do it. Before we give him an animal trivia, if you had the talent to play a professional sport, what sport would it be? Baseball. Baseball. They what make a lot of money. They make way more money than any other sports. What position? Pitcher. I like the pressure. I like all the pressure to be on me. Okay. Very good. Loves the pressure. Uh, who's your favorite artist? Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's so awesome. He's I mean, like listen. The nicest ever. My mom, when I was growing up, went through a, a painting phase. I have some of her paintings in my home. I, at least I think do. Lisa, where are they? I don't know where they are, but I have one. And uh, so every time when I came home, she was watching Bob Ross. So him and I have a very special relationship. And he's the only artist I could think of. So, <laughs> <laughs> If you had to cancel one major holiday, what would you eliminate? New Year's. I don't really care about New Year's. It's like, what's the big deal? It's just another day. It's just an excuse to party. But maybe it's because I don't drink. Maybe that's why it's not a big deal to me. Who cares? Okay. All right. I know that's yeah. a lame answer, but, uh, you know, what do you want from me? I'm a lame guy. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Shanna, animal trivia, yes. this guy. What animal never sleeps? A moth. Nope. A bullfrog. Oh. Okay. That's, I'm in no way embarrassed by that. <laughs> so, you know, really, you are the one who's failed here, not me. Really? So I'm fine. <laughs> because it seems like you were all the way wrong. You picked a flying insect. <laughs> <laughs> See? Still. Does this look like the face of an embarrassed guy? No. You got to work harder than that. <laughs> well, you know what, John? We appreciate you for coming through. Thank you for playing. You're asking if people or you're, you're telling people if they want to stay backstage, they can. But what does that mean? I just get to be backstage or does that mean I get to come back on later on? No, you I'm get a chance people. to talk to us after the stream. No, Like you I'm can out. have some one on one <laughs> FaceTime. No, I got me in the I'm telling people not to be backstage so I can get everybody on, but you can definitely come back after the. After. I ain't got time for all that nonsense. I'm 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 done here. Well, you know what? Bye. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. That was John Hudson from KG Tropicals. Uh, good. That friend. was that one guy. And even better. He has enemy. a great wife. <laughs> you should check her out. Lisa. A lot better than he is. See what he's doing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Embarrassed enough. <laughs> Let's guess. What up? I know you've been back there. What the hey, everybody? Wow. He wasn't, he wasn't ready. <laughs> What's cracking? <laughs> What's cracking, Joe? Joe's from Not a, Just doing, sitting here, just sitting here up in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't have anything else to do. No. <laughs> Not in Minnesota. <laughs> just watching John pick his nose. You know, it's about this it. Is, yeah. This is how we do it in Bison Country, baby. That's how we <laughs> I'm do pretty it. sure he was a good two knuckles deep. Dude, he was up to his, his like. <laughs> He's scratching his brain on that one. He's going to kill me for it. All right, Joe, pick a game so we can get these gift cards underway. And the gift card we're giving away that pops up is... I want to give something away, too. Oh? Oh, what? all right. We'll scratch the gift card. We'll just do what you got. What do you got? 
I'm going to give a $50 gift card towards my store. And what Whoa. I'll do is I will message you later on with the discount code for it. So 50 bucks. That's so awesome. Thank $50 you. $50 gift card, man, to Joe's Shrimp Shack. For those shrimp lovers out there, you'll love Joe's Shrimp Shack. He's got the shrimp that you want and the shrimp that you need. Joe's Shrimp That's Shack. That's right. Have you all so seen the So the game that we're going to play, shrimp? we're going to kind of do it a little bit different here because I'm, I'm a little bit different here. Okay. We're going to play the trouble game, but not only are we going to play the trouble game, but I have a trouble bubble too. Ah, very. So we're gonna take we're gonna take the numbers and add them up, so it's up to twelve. What? Very nice, very nice. Let's make sure everybody gets it's this. It's double trouble. It's, it's double, double trouble. Double, double trouble. All right, listen, you guys. What he's proposed is this: he has a trouble game. I have a trouble game. You guys can pick up to the number twelve. We're gonna add our numbers together, and yep. you can pick up to the number yeah. twelve. Okay. Don't, pick, it don't yet. pick numbers yet. For the don't love pick it yet. of all that is good on this sweet earth, wait until you hear the air horn. Listen for the air horn. That is the key. All right. I'm a teacher. I don't think that I should have to keep repeating myself. I don't do this much repeating in my classrooms, and they're 14. Listen. We are going what? to get on the double trouble bubble. I am going to point it to the trouble bubble. Joe has. Let me his switch bubble. my camera around. Joe has his bubble there. Let me switch my camera. All right. So there's my bubble. There's his bubble. And we're going to do the air horn in. And I'm looking at the last. Hold on. Hold on. Wait till you hear the air horn, says Monster Fish Gal. She's correct. The air horn is there. Put in your picks. Put in your picks. Put in your picks. Oh, here we go. We're here adding the them numbers. up. You see them? You see them? You see them? I'm pressing. You ready to press, Joe? Yes, I am. Go. Nine plus six. Is that a six? Wait, six. nine isn't a number on the dice. Oh, I'm sorry. Duh. Six is mine. Six and six is 12. 12. All right, Joe. Tell us who got 12. I have no idea who got 12. Okay. I just wanted to play the trouble game. That's fair. Uh, oh my god. It looks like it was Is it really It's 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 Monster Fish Gal. Nice. nice. Congratulations, Lori. Ken got four. Texas got six, nine, ten. Lisa got seven. And Monster Fish Gal came with the first 12. Monster Fish Gal. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. She can message, she can message me. Chat. Yeah, she can message me. I got I got her information. So Okay. All right. Message Fantastic. Joe for your That's $50 awesome. gift card. Joe, you just changed the game, baby. I think I might. Press my bubble twice when you leave, and we can add their add them up. What do you think? It's a little bit easier. It's awesome. That's awesome, Joe. Thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. Thank you very much, here. guys. All right, one love. Oh, before you yeah. go, wait. We're let's forgetting you in the hot spot real quick. If you were to brag about your partner to your friends, what would you say? Very beautiful. Hmm. That's it, huh? Young and hot. <laughs> there we go. I don't. I don't actually know that that's a better answer. <laughs> uh, which family member of yours do you think I would get along with the best? Probably my brother Gus. Why would I get he's, along? He's, with he's similar to you. Is he really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll take it. All right. What's your favorite way to spend your birthday? Um, I'm usually working. Um, I'm at the store like six or seven days a week, so it's kind of what I do. But best thing I could do is probably just relaxing would be a nice day. Multiple choice. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, A, burritos. B, let's cook, C, Doritos, or D, you name it. 
you name it is correct <laughs> joe thank you for coming thank, thank you, you guys playing. we appreciate you man thank you anytime for your, man for your gift card and um chicken message me more. all right very good see ya thanks guys peace Hey, man, it's so good with Joe. Thank you so much, Joe. I'm going to kick you off of backstage right now. When we, get, when we get done, we'll be back in. All right, I see more people in the back. I am sorry, and then more people coming in. We are, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going to go to this guy right here. Zenzo hey. from Zazella, hey. thanks. How's it going? Hey, can you guys hey, hear me? Hey. Thank you for being patient you. and All everybody right. else. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. How's it going, man? It's doing doing well. Just hanging out. Uh, just waiting my turn so I can be done and go eat my dinner. <laughs> yes. All right. I did tell you to come in and then we'll get you in and get you going. So here we go. And here I don't go. know the rules, so you'll have to just tell me. Uh, well, there's three games. On. We have right. the Trouble Bubble. We have okay. Shanna's Animal Trivia, and we have Pick a Range and Pick a Number. And then the mem- the uh, viewers have to pick correct uh, get the correct answer for the prize. Absolutely. All right. I, I like the animal one. Animal trivia, it is. Yeah. Wait, do I have to answer it? You don't. You just oh, have I to don't. Pick, make sure the right person picks it. Got it. Okay. All right. Shanna with the animal trivia. Okay. Here we go. Mammals do not lay eggs except for two. Which mammals are they? You're picking two animals here. Which animals, which mammals? Which two mammals lay which eggs? Which two mammals lay eggs? Okay. I, I think some people got the right answer. Thank you, Skipper, so much. Do, so do I read it or does uh, Shanna? Oh, you got the winner? I think so. I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that it's the echidna and the platypus. Um, Close. Platypus close. is one. Platypus is and one. And okay. I'm putting the other one in private chat. All right. Go to private chat. All right. Oh, oh no wow. one's going to get that. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Keep guessing, people. Yeah. It's, uh, can we give them a hint? <laughs> it's pokey. That's not it's a hint. Pokey. <laughs> well, I have yes. to say that it eats very small things. There we go. You got uh, Jeffrey Watts that got the right yep. answer. Jay yeah. Wiggity, where is he at? <laughs> Jay so Watts. The, uh, the platypus and the uh, spiny anteater. Oh wait, anteater, Steph is wrote... saying that the echinita is a spiny anteater. The echidna. Oh, the echidna. Yeah. A spiny okay. anteater is an echidna. All oh, right, so, okay. so I was then, right. You see? <laughs> okay. All right. See. All right. So that goes back to uh, Jenna P. Two thousand five was the first person. Jenna P. Two thousand and five was the first one since a kid is the spiny ant eater. Yeah. That teaches you to go against Tazawa tanks. There you go. See. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jenna P. You have. A PetSmart $25 gift card. All right. Congrats, Jenna. Jenna P. I'm putting your name on it. FishyBizAquatics at Gmail. Leave me your info, and we will get that out to you. Zenzo, awesome. I know you're about to go eat dinner. I'll do the question thing. Yeah. What is your favorite dinner? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, if I was going to pick my favorite dinner, I would say probably really, really good uh, sushi. Okay. Um, was that is that what's made for you tonight? No, I just made some homemade uh, chicken and rice soup. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. Yeah. Very good. Kind of has everything. It's got my protein, my carbs, fluids, vegetables. So yeah. So healthy. We got you. Yeah. We can tell by the arms. All right. <laughs> what is something that always makes you laugh? Uh oh. Um. Gosh, I mean, I could say something nice like my wife's smile and, you know, all that. But I would say there's this YouTuber, uh, Camera Conspiracies, 
and he's got this really, really dry sense of humor. So I would say that his videos always make me laugh. Okay, very good. Yeah. And where can you be found in a party? Hmm, near the food, for sure. <laughs> yeah, near the food and then probably sitting down somewhere, talking to somebody, eating, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. And, and lastly, what was your high school, high school yearbook quote? I don't. I didn't. I didn't uh, have a quote. Really? Um, no. Uh, yeah. There's no quote. Um, okay. And I don't even know what I would say. I mean, I was kind of a. I hate high school kid, so um, I even like boycotted my own graduation. Didn't walk. Basically said. Nope. <laughs> that's the that's what? the PG version. What a um, rebel. <laughs> and then just went there uh, like a week later and picked up my diploma from the office. So uh, no, no quote, uh, just um, I probably would have said, you know, some smart ass remark or something at that age. Yeah. Hey, look, mine was, I can't be forgotten. Remember that. There you go. <laughs> and you Thank you. It. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Zenzo, so much for being right. here. We appreciate you for the evening. Go eat dinner and enjoy yourself. Have a Happy holidays, sir. Happy holidays. Thanks, everyone. All right. Later. Who's next? All right. Let's see who's next. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? This guy's been waiting for a while. <laughs> what is up? Our friend Rick. Oh. Hey, Rick, I'm looking at the chat on my phone over here. <laughs> What's cracking, man? Oh, man. You know, another day. All right. So, uh, pick a game, sir. I like the animal trivia. All right. And listen, this one is going for an Apple $25 gift card. If you don't have an Apple, you might not want to play unless you want to give it away. But it is a $25 gift card for those Apple users. I am not one, so I could care less about it. Um, Animal trivia. Let's go. What is the fastest flying bird in the world? Fastest flying bird in the world. Let's go. Is it in private? Did you put oh, it I'll put it in there. No. Stephen P., I see you back there. Don't give your wife answers, bro. <laughs> well, Danny Welsh got it. DW? Yeah. Uh, what did he say? The Falcon? No, Peridge, Peridge, I can't read. Peregrine Falcon? That one. All right. D. West. You have an Apple $25 gift card. I know where you bees wow, that at. Was fast. I know where you bees at. So I'll just bring it to the job. No need for me to waste perfectly good FedEx money. Danny Weshi, appreciate it. PB, what was your yearbook, high school yearbook quote? Oh man, um, didn't have one. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't very good in high school. wasn't there. wasn't there long enough to make a quote. Gotcha. Uh, if you could pick your own name, what would you pick? If I could pick my own name. What would I pick? Um, Thank you, Patty. That's a hell of a question. I don't know. If you I like Remy. You, you would have been Remy? Ricky. I you like still Ricky. would be Ricky? Yeah. Oh, that's a stupid Even name. though I, I was almost named Rusty by my dad. <laughs> you what? Oh. I was almost named Rusty. Rusty? I can see that because you look kind of rusty. Rusty Rodriguez, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Well, that's not very nice, babe. I like it. Double R. <laughs> Describe your perfect date night, Ricky. Rusty. Perfect date night. <laughs> Uh, me and my wife on the beach, hanging out, chilling. Nice dessert item. That's the perfect date night? 
on an island, just you and your wife? That's not romantic? Hanging out That's chilling? pretty romantic. You said hanging out chilling? On a deserted island, just you and your wife? Oh, fire? a deserted, I missed the deserted part. I thought it was dessert oh. hanging out chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I could go for some dessert and then hanging out and chilling. Sure you know, you like could. chilling. She, she Wait, Netflix like Netflix and chilling? And chilling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but with dessert. Man, no Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's an yeah, what's an errand you, you what's an errand you uh, would enjoy doing as a couple? What's an errand? An errand, yeah. Something to go um, do. Buy a house. What? That's not an errand. Is that an errand? That is an errand. You ever Most bought people a house? consider an errand like grocery shopping or walk the dog. <laughs> I don't like any of that though. You like the. You want to go buy a house? You go go looking for houses. Yeah, that's an errand. <laughs> All right. It's, it's well, your we just live thanks in for it. sharing. Uh, DW, <laughs> congratulations on the twenty-five dollar Apple Card. We. Where's the rest of my stuff? PB, you're out of here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Catch him on Saturday nights with Aquafunk Aquatics. Good night. <laughs> Kick that guy from the studio. All right, next up. <laughs> I said his name already. We're going to throw him in here real quick. Stephen P. 2000. And How dare you accuse me of cheating? What's I would crack? never do such a thing. <laughs> Stephen. Let's crack this. We all know how desperate you are to get that $25 gift card. So, I have like, looked all the tables in the house already. So, <laughs> <laughs> writing them just to flip them again. Yep. All right. Well, this time, yes, sir. I'm on my life. Yeah. Okay. You okay? Are you just bored? All right. Well, well it's plenty. I need cool. some milk. Cool play. Close my door for me. Thank you, sir. Love you. Damn. He slammed the door. It's like my son. Yeah. He's four. He slammed the door. like this. He's like, shut the door. Wham! Right. Okay, little kid. Hercules. How, how, how are you doing for the holidays so far? I'm doing great. You know, Biz, you've been in my thoughts uh, for months now, you know. I appreciate it, man. I, I got your message, and I definitely appreciate you, man. Um, like I said, this is this is something that I needed. And because uh, when I get off of here, I'm back to consoling and comforting. Yep. And um, that's where I'll be at for a while. For a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <sighs> Let's pick a game. I want to play a game. You know what? I've been seeing all this chaos in chat and I really... I really want to feed into it. So let's do animal trivia one more time. Animal trivia <laughs> for the win. I want to see some tables fly. It is pretty fun. Yeah, it is. Especially right, when I got on. no steak in it. Yeah, it's way better that way. <laughs> okay. How many times can a hummingbird flap its wings per second? How many times can a hummingbird Flap its wings per second. Hmm. It's a lot of times. Oh, yeah, I got to put it in private chat. Sorry. <laughs> I forget that part every time. There. All right. How many? What was the question? How many times can a hummingbird flap its wings per second? All right, we're waiting on the right answer. Well, I guess I should check the answer. Is it this guy? Yep. I don't know if he was first, but that's the correct answer. Is that the first? It's 80, it's 80 beats, and I have Jay Watts right now. Did anybody else before that do it? 220, 50, Scrolling 150. Up. There it is. Um, it's Jeffrey Watts. It is Jeffrey Watts. All day, every day. All right. Jay Wiggity. Nice. Jay Wiggity. You get a $25 
Petco card. Jay Watts. The Jays for Jeffrey. Congratulations. Good job, man. You did a post it now with your name on it. Good job, man. And for you, Stephen P., don't go anywhere. All righty. If you could choose one animal to be, what animal would that be? Ooh, a grizzly bear. I mean, who's going to mess with the grizzly bear? It's top of the food chain. You're tearing through everything. It's true. Yeah. And you're going to eat all the salmon you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they just fly up at you, too. Right yeah. time of uh, the year. Absolutely. Do you prefer to spend uh, more time as a couple or with friends? Um, I, I spend a lot of time with Jenna P and, um, uh, I, I enjoy it. You know, we, okay. um, I definitely spend time as a couple. It's a great safe answer. I like that. <laughs> what if she wasn't listening? Uh, <laughs> she knows the answer. She knows how much time we spend together. The Zotics, thank you so much. Everybody with your super chats and super stickers. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, name one thing you could think important to do as a couple together. Important to do as a couple together. Well, uh, late night stream, right? No. Uh, <laughs> can't get me to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like only one of you feel like that couple stuff works. <laughs> I like that we uh, in, enjoy the hobby together. We share the same interests, you know, have the same sense of humor. So I think it's just important to laugh together and talk, you know, absolutely. know each other. That's absolutely right. I agree. Very good, Steve. That is so sweet. It was nice, wasn't it? Oh, yes. And I think he means it. He did. It looks yeah, like I it. Do. Did you enjoy your cartoon of you that I had on the... Uh... Yeah, how'd you do that? None of your business. With his own two hands. <laughs> pain I'm going to figure out these secrets. <laughs> You're too much of a tech guy. I'm pretty sure you'll figure the answer out like later on this evening. <laughs> Stephen P, thank you for coming through. We appreciate you, man. Thank All right. Thanks for much. having me. All right. And we out. Oh, man. This is rocking, man. All right. Let's see what we got here. Who's next? Who could it be? I'm not, I'm not ready for him. I'm ready for her. <laughs> Yay! What's up, Carrie? Yeah. Much love. Sorry for the wait, Carrie from Science Gal Aquatics. What's cracking? Nothing really, just watching you. <laughs> well, well, thank you, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Oh, what game would you like for the people to play? Uh, I kind of wanted to do the animal questions too. Oh, wow, <laughs> animal trivia! It's fun. Shanna's animal trivia. Let's go. I feel a little bit guilty because. <laughs> I've been holding out on you all. There's a little <laughs> bit more to the animal trivia than I've been sharing. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Stupid animal <laughs> trivia where I don't really know if the answers are right, but they're just the answers I have. Because it's stupid animal <laughs> trivia that I Googled as the show was already going. <laughs> so your answer may or may not be right. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Stupid animal trivia. <laughs> <sighs> All right. It. Where's the heart of a shrimp located? Where's the heart of a shrimp located? Fast finger answer. Let's go. <laughs> I'm putting it in chat. It's in private chat, people. I knew this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like a lot of people. Knew it. <laughs> Who was the first one with it? Jeez. That song is great. <laughs> I know. And it looks like it was. Oh, 
Will she sing every time? <laughs> I have. Uh, how do you pronounce? Is it Vaisin? Vaisin. Vaisin. Mm-hmm. Even better. Like that. Do you mm-hmm. guys have Vaisin? Do you have Vaisin carry for the win? Yes. That's Vizine. what I saw too. Hey, thank you for all of your heartfelt words to me. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And you have just won an Amazon gift card, $25 Amazon gift card. All right. V, Y. There we go. Congratulations to you, Vizine and Carrie. Mm-hmm. You're back in the spot that you didn't want to be in the hot spot. <laughs> Is there a place where you're a regular customer? Starbucks. Every morning at 530. They know you by name. They do. I don't even have to order anymore. Sometimes you want to go <laughs> where everybody knows your name. <laughs> have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? No. What? I've gotten pulled over in the Mustang, but I think once they realized that I was a girl, they just left. (laughs) Really? But I've never, the only ticket I ever got was for a tail light that was burned out that I just got fixed that apparently wasn't fixed. And I was on my way to Taco Bell. Oh, wow. People want to know. 17. (laughs) What do you order when you go to Starbucks? A triple shot white chocolate mocha. I do get those. those. (laughs) Michelle Kenzie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, What's something that grosses you out, Carrie? Mm. My kids being like that type of thing. You can just say my kids. (laughs) My kids. Anything coming out of something that's not supposed to kind of grosses me out, but as I get older, less and less grosses me out. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. That's fair. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Fake Christmas tree or real Christmas tree for you? We have a fake one mm. right now, but I prefer the smell of a real Christmas tree. There you go. <laughs> nice. Favorite, favorite awesome. Christmas cookie? Mm, probably macadamia nut cookies. I love those too. Oh, yum. Carrie. Thank you so much for coming up and being a part of this. I appreciate you. Much love. Thank you. All right, Carrie. Everybody say bye to Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. See you later. (laughs) Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy 2K. (laughs) Yeah. Thanks. That is that is what this is for, you guys. My my 2K subs, which are over 2K now, so. This is my appreciation stream. So I had to do it. Um, and uh, I'm glad I did it. We are getting closer to the end, and which is great because I'm running out of gift cards. Um, let's jump Lefty into the stream. What's cracking? Uh, lefty! How's it going? What's Better now good? that you're here, you Aww. handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> Love the backdrop there, sir. I think I go a little festive. Yeah, very seasonal. <laughs> Lefty, what game would you like for the people? We to play? seem to be on a roll, so I'm going to keep it going with animal trivia. Oh, animal, animal trivia, Shanna, animal trivia. Give them the song. Mr. Green would appreciate the song. Because it's stupid animal trivia where we don't really know if the answers are right. They're just the answers I have because websites lie. (laughs) That's so bad. I love doing that so much. I should feel shame because I've heard what it sounds like and I don't. It's I so don't bad, at all. Weird. Not even a little. <laughs> all right. Let's give the people animal trivia. All right. Which animal's fingerprints are indistinguishable from humans? Which... Thank you, Stephen P. Go ahead. Which animal's fingerprints are indistinguishable from humans? 
What animal fingerprints are indistinguishable from humans? I have ape. I have monkey. I have koala. I have kangaroo. Oh. Koala. koala. Koala is the correct answer. And, and the people. person that said that was who, Lefty? Looks like I hate stupid people. Is that the right one? Uh, um, 11.05. Is that it? Yeah. Let's see one before okay, that. Now, monkey and orangutan. Chimpanzee and I hate stupid people comes in with koala. I hate stupid people. Fishybizaquatics at gmail.com, people, so that you can claim your prize. And I hate stupid people's prize is a Google Play gift card for $25. I hate stupid people. Congratulations. Lefty, something you're weirdly good at. Star Trek trivia. <laughs> really? <laughs> Nerd. I mean, I've seen Voyager and Deep Space Nine about ten times. We're going to have so. to go. We're have to go bit backstage, and uh, we'll, I might have to challenge. <laughs> I, am star, I am a Trekkie. We'll have to go at it. Quick question, boys: Best Star Trek captain? Janeway. Picard. Janeway from the Voyager? Yeah. Don't she you dare good. talk smack on Janeway. She no, she she so suit, she I like could have went Captain Cisco, but Deep Space Nine just was not. Janeway's like the I perfect mix Space between Nine, but... Kirk and Picard. Like the Ferengi. Yeah. Yeah. What's something you don't get hype about? Birthdays. My own. Your own birthday, you don't yeah. get too hype about it. Okay. Um, what are the top three names you would give your children? Oh, George, Catherine, Cass. Oh, Cass. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and last question. What is something you know now that you wish you knew when you were younger? Which college to go to off the bat? Yeah. I can see that. Because my sister talked me into going to the one right by her. And it probably wasn't the best choice. Lefty, thank you so much. We appreciate you, you, man. Happy holidays to you and yours, man. Stay blessed, man. We appreciate it. Later, Lefty. Peace out. What's next? All right. Very good. Okay. Now, I don't know who to put on here next. I've got two people that I want to put on at the same time because I think it would just be hilarious. So I got to yeah. save. I got to save that for last. So let's get. Okay. We did girl. Then we did guy. Let's do now. We need, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's do it now. Right now. There she is. Jess. Jess means tails, fern fins. What's what? cracking, Jess? How you doing? I'm good, you guys and y'all. Sounds like you've been having a lot of fun. Oh man, it, it, it's been it's been a blessing. I, I'm loving this tonight. Yes, man, yes, I appreciate yes. all my guests for coming through. All the super yes. chats have been coming through. I really appreciate it all. Yes, Jess. Yes, how are you? Pick <laughs> a game. Um, since I'm up here with trouble, <laughs> we'll pick trouble. Very nice. <laughs> Now, now that we've also had trouble from uh, Joe's fish or shrimp shack, he also has introduced us to double trouble. Double Ooh. trouble is where I click the dice twice. We add the numbers up to get to a high of 12. How does that sound to you? I like it. All right, people, do not click anything. Do not put anything in the chat until you hear the air horn. We are going to go down to our trouble bubble. <laughs> All right. Now that we're in our trouble bubble, 
you will start picking now. 1 to 12, 1 to 12, 1 to 12. If you pick 1, I don't think you're that smart, but 1 to 12, 1 to 12, 1 to 12. All right, you see numbers, Jess? Do you see numbers? I see numbers. Yep. All right, here's click number one. And it's a four. And we're going to add four to three. That's seven. Four and three is seven. <laughs> Who got it first? Who got it first? Ooh, lordy, lordy. Board biologist, I believe. Yeah. Who's that? Board biologist. Board biologist. All right. Let's go up to the top. I see board biologist. There we go. Oh, seven first. Jess, boing, boing, double trouble. Board biologist came in with seven. Wow. There it is. Board biologist. Go to fishybizaquatics at gmail.com. Congratulations. That's right. You Congratulations, board biologist. What are you bored of? <laughs> <laughs> board of biology. Board of biology. $25 Apple gift card for board biologist. Ooh. All right, board biologist, make sure that you go to fishybizaquatics at gmail.com. Put in what you won, which is a $25 Apple gift card in the subject line, and let me get your info. Board biologist, good job. I have not seen board biologist in my chat before, so it's ha I'm happy to have you here. Thank you right. so much. Right. That's what I was so thinking. Much. It's always good to see new people. Um, Jess, if you could teach any class, what would it be? Science. It would be? Science. It would be science. What part of science? It would be the the first biology that you have to take the first. Oh shoot! It, what is it called? So I think it's seventh grade science. It's um. Oh my gosh! I can't remember the name of it. Um. Anyway, uh, it's where is you it start. Like Earth, Earth science, maybe. No, it has to do with animals. Ecology. No, it's not what it's called. <laughs> um, oh, darn. Life science, maybe. Life science? Yeah, that may be it. Okay. All right. Very good. Maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember which one it is. It's just, it's the one that you go through and you have to do the dissecting and learn about all the animals and learn about where they're from and all that fun stuff. Okay. Very it good. It could be earth science. I don't remember which which one it was but i just remember it was seventh grade science <laughs> okay. and it was fun what is the dorkiest thing about you i'm i do not know i'm goofy <laughs> it says dorky <laughs> <laughs> okay just be a dork what's the craziest thing you've ever um seen at work Um, we had a lady come through and she had a, I don't remember exactly what was going on in the car outside. And I used to work at a credit union and she, we had the buzz doors, right? You had to buzz, they had to buzz. And then we let them in if we knew them. Well, she comes running up to the door and saying, there's an ambulance, there's an ambulance. <laughs> we're, up, we're like, what? Who are you? And what? <laughs> ambulance, just ambulance, ambulance, ambulance. <laughs> and I'm like, um, you need one, you need us to call one. Yeah, that was like that was so it was funny. It was really funny. It's funny. <laughs> that you. stays in my mind all the time. Ambulance, ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> um favorite food to eat during the holiday. This holiday. Mexican. Uh, you have burritos and tacos on Christmas. I do. I don't eat things or take. I don't eat Christmas or Thanksgiving, but I don't eat turkey and dressing and all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Um. Because I'm dorky like that too. <laughs> real, real trees or Chris or uh, are fake trees. Real. Okay. 
Got to have that smell. All right. Very nice. And are you camping? Um, I mean, are you uh, roasting chestnuts by open fire or marshmallows? Chestnuts. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Jess, thank you for coming through. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you Jess. Love you guys. Nothing Anything for love you. Love you too. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Later. All right, people, we are winding down her. And slowing down. And we've got the one and the only in the back. But first, I would like to thank everybody for the super chats. Oh, my God. Bex, Fish Room, Jesus, thank you so much, Bex. I appreciate you. And thank you, everybody, for thinking of me and my family at a time like this. Thank you so much. Um, Multi-Tank Addiction, thank you. Um everybody up here man i i just want to show all that love and um i really appreciate it man because after this stream i'm going back to uh to um consoling you know what i'm saying and and being there for for everybody so i really appreciate this you guys um amazing diver man thank you so much that's everybody 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 thank you all right, now without further ado, I'm bringing these guys both up here together. They've both been on my live stream and they've been an integral part of me getting to the 2000 mark that I'm at right now. First, is he even Steve? Are you there? Steven. Hello. Yo. Hello. Hey, is this what's thing on? Dragon, man. Oh, shit. What's up, man? <laughs> And drops the S bomb. Let's did bring you this explain? guy first. He knew it was gonna happen. How you, how you did not know that was gonna happen, bro? This ain't nothing but love, bro. You know the internet is forever. <laughs> like for real. I'm saving hey, my man. haircut. I already told you. I'm sad. <coughs> if I get the cut on Wednesday, go to sleep Thursday. Hot shower and shampoo Friday morning. I'm gonna be clean as shampoo. Well. Man, I shall shampoo, ran shampoo, shampoo, bro. Like for shampoo? real. As he shampoo. as he as he combs his shampoo. as he combs his face. <laughs> we have Warrior Planet tanks here. You guys seen them on my simple fish keeping. Um, this guy knows everything there is to know about plants and plants and bro. Planet that's, tanks I don't know. No, uh, I know how to do stuff cheaply because I ain't got no money. Well, that's even better. There you go. And then well, of course, nah, he's being modest. He being modest. He being modest. He know how to do stuff real. The real, the, like the average fish keeper. You know what I mean? That 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 don't know all the mumbo jumbo terms. He's the dude you gotta see. He's the dude you gotta see. There it is, man. Seriously. And then of course, Aquafunk Aquatics, the man that needs no introduction. That Puerto Rican brother from another mother. Put your tongue back in your mouth. He can't. I mean, what's, that, what's that green <laughs> thing behind him? His bottom lip is minuscule and small. <laughs> Is that something green back there? Have... What's that? Oh, that's just a silk plant. Don't get excited. Say, Don't get excited. Okay, I, I didn't think it was organic. I was making sure it wasn't a living thing in one of your fish. Hey, that's green. Y'all haven't been reading the, the chat backstage, have you? This. Huh? I just say. No, this, just... you haven't oh, been the, reading the chat the backstage, the chat have you? Backstage? Have, have you guys been going in? <laughs> I have. Old, and I'm broke. <laughs> I got to get some more now you got to do a carpet oh okay i see you guys Funk, i would talk mess back at you but everybody can see your face so like <laughs> listen listen i want to i want to give a special shout out to aqua funk man when i was my very first video and coming out man aqua funk found me and, and asked me to join his live stream and when i came through he introduced me to all of his people in the fish fam and man got me got me underway man so more love to you, man, on that. I appreciate it. And, and I took that that energy and got that ball rolling. And here I am, uh, 2000K plus, man. Uh, you would have hit the 2000 regardless. Man, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> What game would you guys like to play? I've got one. I ain't going to lie, man. It don't I've matter. got one gift card left. Hmm. Can, what games can, are can, they? Can I? Yo, 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 Steve, hold up real fast. Yo, right. can, can I switch up the game? Okay, let's see what you got. 
All right. So listen, beans, we at your 2000. I thought it was only fitting to do a, 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 a trivia for people who um been there since day one. Uh. Now, it's not only for people who've been there since day one, because anybody can figure the clue out. All okay. right. So I want you to name the song that Fishy Biz sang that inadvertently explained his true nature having to do with country and rap. If you could name, be the first person to name that song where Fishy Biz really, really showed who he was, his true colors, that's the winner. Let me see who's winning. Oh, oh my girl. gosh. I already it's know so which hard. one it is. I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, my true Go colors. Ahead. What you gonna say? It's true it's, colors. It's like a popular yeah, song. Yeah. The song oh, Fishy B sang. Mm -hmm. Baby got back, bro. Sound of music on town, bro. I think Monster Fish Girl. Uh, Monster it was Fish it girl. was Lori. Lori was on it. Lori was oh, on it. She it was. It, it, and actually, it was old fish hole, is what I old remember. fish hole. Old yeah, fish. yep. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like in all transparency, I remember watching it, shaking my head, and then calling you and asking <laughs> you what in the hell was wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna float down fish down that like, old bro, fish hole. Bro, you ain't going out like sing it, sing it, sing it, Biz. Sing it. Come on, Biz. I'm a come on, Biz. I'm going to float my fish down that old fish hole. It's going to swim I mean, till it can't no, ain't no more. I'm going to float my fish down that old fish hole. and going to swim till it can't no more. I got the cichlids in the back. Don't forget the haps. And Boone is getting mad. And I forgot the rest of it. Now, look. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was it. We have something for Funk on the channel. Wait a minute. What's for me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Somebody wants to hear the rap. <laughs> Get it. Coming in strong like Doggy Kong, dripping rain on me like the force is on. Got me feeling more pretty than my thirst in your palms, so it's on. Dip, dip, that skinny rap you can't do with a super chat. You kaye yo, that's like whoa. So now I ain't got to dance on no pole. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> you can't do with a super chat. Super you chat. Can't you can't do with a super chat. You can't do with super chat. So you get super, super chat, chat rap. rap. That song is trash, but it's <laughs> you, you <laughs> trash. You can't, you can't, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. I envy you, Aqua Funk. You have something that like I, I will never have, and that is no shame. None at all. No, I lost I that a long that late, time man. ago. I wouldn't let it. I wouldn't I just let no, it go forever. I ain't got no shame. I ain't got no pride. <laughs> no, that, no, don't say that. That's, that's a, not true. But the shame part, like that's kind of nice. It, it, it's kind of helpful to navigate through life sometimes with the people. Yo, that come I ain't got none of that. That's all. That all went out the window a long time ago. Lori, <laughs> oh. you get the twenty-five dollar Apple gift card. I think you won some other. As stuff. a Google Play card. You get the twenty-five dollar Google Play card. Thank you for the correction, Shanna. You're supposed <laughs> to be co-signing everything I say, Shanna. Don't you even worry about that. <laughs> oh, speaking of animal, animal trivia, you don't have the animal trivia. Those, those, that's what's hot on the street right now. Is that what's in the street? Animal trivia. <laughs> Yeah, do a do an animal, but do like do a do a cool one. <laughs> what was the other ones? Trash? Hey, didn't you ask somebody what animal they wanted to be? That was that was my hot spot, hot spot question. Aqua Funk, what animal would you be? Okay, so check it out. This this is it. <laughs> originally look, a lot of people let this 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 question go. I was thinking to myself, I was like, ooh, I want to be a gorilla. But I was thinking, no, 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 I would like to have a gorilla. I want a gorilla. I won't be a bird, so I could crap on people on their heads straight up. <laughs> just, just plop, burnt, take that, bump. That's, I mean, serious up. I won't be a bird, so I could crap on people's heads. 
Bro, you have some I'm mental bitter. issues that I'm have not bitter. been diagnosed yet. I appreciate that about you. You are so good. Off. That's a good that's answer. The <laughs> that's the only reason. It's and doesn't be beautiful to fly. Funk is a hamster, hundred percent. And see, we I see got a cool. Cool. <laughs> I got a cool animal. What's what about you? What about you? What's your animal? A goddamn honey badger. Obviously. <laughs> Any badger don't play. No, bro, they can get hit by a snake and not die, bro. I, I would do it right on your head. Bro, I like, would do it no, right bro. on your I head. Mean, it's, it's got honey in its name, and then it's bad. It's a badass. So it like the honey. You know what I'm saying? It's real nice. It's a good animal. I, They're yeah, the only right on the animal head. that's known for strategically targeting genitals. Dolphin? Now, see, you done messed it up. Why you had to go say that, Shannon? Mm -hmm. I know. Why you they they share them up. Something well, tries to bite them. They get them by the next said, game. Said, they said, just... I'm, not, no, I'm not going into this mm -hmm. conversation. There might be kids watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, they ain't. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What animal <laughs> goes after the nuts? Honey badgers. You know what? I think like Honey llamas badgers? or something do that. They like try to bite each other's balls off. See, now I'm questioning your animal choices and preferences now, man. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do that. That doesn't make any sense. You know? I, now, is that a boy honey badger or a girl honey badger? That go out of like, if, it was, their... if it wasn't malicious, then yes, I'm guilty. But like, I'm not trying to bite nobody's nuts to hurt them. I'm just saying. <laughs> just for that's, fun, that's please. Cool. I'm not trying to yeah, bite them yeah, or hurt them. Just, you know, what are you biting them? No, to like, like I said, if it was, he said if it was a girl honey badger, I'm a boy honey badger. Non maliciously, I'm guilty, but I'm not biting another boy honey badger's balls. This is this has to be known. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine? Yo, yo, okay. can you imagine okay, being at the bar? I don't you would bring something up like this, but I'm cool. I can hang with you. You know that, right? Yeah. Could, could you, yeah. Could you imagine okay. being at the bar and getting into a beef with somebody? Be like, what? 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 Then drop it to your knees and just, ah, take that. Ah. <laughs> no, nobody no. mess with you. Nobody mess with you. That's true. <laughs> Monster Fish Guy wants, wants her the Google Play card to go to you, Shanna. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Goes nuts for nuts. <laughs> hey, oh my goodness! Real, real oh fast, goodness. real fast. I got to say something serious. Uh, um, a lot of you people know that I have I have a live stream on Saturday, and Ricky is my co-host. Um, Ricky, Rick, don't let Ricky's answers to those questions reflect on the on the the live stream. <laughs> the live stream is usually really fun. Okay, we we have <laughs> jokes and stuff. Ricky let all them questions just pass him by. I don't, Ricky, we're going to have to talk, man. A, a, a romantic on a desert island with my whole lady drinking coconut milk, getting the bubble guts. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> coconut water will do that to you, though. Like, yeah, for real. Yeah. It'll give you bubble guts and bubble butt. I can't, I don't drink coconut water anymore. Appreciate it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, I, I quit drinking it. I, I can't drink it anymore. The uh, coconut water. Yeah, one of my friends ruined it for me. Uh, it's, it's Navy humor. We were sitting in the office uh, when the Rona first happened, and she completely ruined uh, coconut milk forever. What happened? What happened? Don't say something like that. And not finish. Well, she basically, if you bit a honey badger's balls, what's inside of it would be in your mouth, and that's what coconut milk allegedly tastes like. I do not know, so therefore, I oh, stopped. that's not true at uh, all. Well, I don't want to know. There will be no more <laughs> coconut milk consumed by me. <laughs> Welcome to Fishy Biz Aquatics After Dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coconut milk doesn't taste nothing like what y'all thinking. I'm just saying, like, yeah, fuck that. We ain't drinking that. And it's I not the right that. consistency either. Okay, I, no oh need to elaborate. But Can we please change the know. subject? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way, way to go, oh, honey wow. badger. <laughs> what kind of coconut milk he was drinking? And he's still on it. I'm not supposed girl, to man. say anything else it was, about it that. It was a girl. So uh, I, I trusted her. I didn't question okay. it. Like, 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 that would be like me trying to tell somebody, like, 
and get yeah. it on how to do something that I'm not capable of doing. So yeah. Aqua Funk was supposed to get a free tattoo. Where are you putting yeah. it? Square on your ass or where? On my right ass cheek. <laughs> If it's I called a sleeve be... on your arm, is it called a britches on your ass? I'm gonna get no. There's a thong because it's, it's gonna be covered a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a, a tattoo. I'm gonna get a tattoo of my left ass cheek on my right ass cheek. Just throw everybody off. Who but I'm just you not even an old sure tattoo. That's gonna be one of them <laughs> dolphin and whale situations, bro. You ain't getting no younger. You get you ain't getting no younger. So it'll be a dolphin, and then like, with you, you old nigga. So like, I don't know. Four five months from now, it'll be a whale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't gonna it ain't gonna go right. You, what happens when you oh, get Oh, that's harsh. What happens, that's harsh. <laughs> what happens when you twerk those left and right butt cheeks? <laughs> Bro, you, you got me the visual of you having a thong on. I had to I had to change the trajectory of this conversation. <laughs> I'm just saying. You ain't got a thong on right now. Bro, I no, I just got a thong on. No more hands draw. I mean, I'm not wearing clothes. anything from the waist down. I don't know about I mean, y'all. The craziest like, clothes I got. Yeah. It too. I got I got a fishnet white beater. You going feet. girl commando over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was skinny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Just airing it out. Shannon over there. Shannon Daffy ducking it over there. This is not why I brought you two up here. <laughs> well, what did you think was going to happen? I was good all night. You have like been. I didn't even say nothing, and then you, you bring been. these two up here, like, "Hello." Yeah. yeah, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. They're just the Not influence I've been needing. I apologize, Chat, <laughs> <laughs> but they're 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 definitely all in it. <laughs> Is that a knife? Yeah, I was over here messing around. I don't know why you're playing with it. But you're reinforcing a perpetuated stereotype, and that's irresponsible. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) It's true. I got a knife here. I got a knife over there. I'm a machete over there. I got a machete over there. Honey badger nut biter. That's irresponsible. (laughs) (laughs) Now he wants to have morals. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. (sighs) A social That's the honey part, bro. The honey part. <laughs> Honey's good. It's antibacterial. Did you know that? Funk is going to get a tramp stamp. Honey is antibacterial <laughs> and cinnamon's antibacterial and Yeah, I was going to say that. I use it for plant propagation, man. I don't know. There what? might be a video coming out on that. Nice. You are clearly the male poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. My house looks like that too now, right now. It's getting better. It's going to be more. I will not. If you don't stop with that whorish, disgusting mouth, I will not be able to monetize this damn live stream. <laughs> but you just called him a whore. I mean, I know, right? Whore is okay. You know what? Is it? Is it? Whore? Mm. I don't know. I wouldn't whore. say it in front of my mama. It's not for kids. That's a perspective word. You got to put it in perspective. It's problematic. It, it just okay. means someone that likes to share. <laughs> well, look, I don't, I don't think that's what that means. Yeah, yeah, of course that's, it is. They like to share. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, they no, I, I believe I, I would see. It's an obsession. I'm with Steve because, listen, as long as it's in the right context, I don't think it should be bad. For instance, I'm doing a video on my flower horn. How could I not say cop? How could I not? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think you should. And the trick is going to be not to chuckle after saying it every time. I did. I did. Yeah. 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 (laughs) See, and that's when it goes from being appropriate to not appropriate. It's that chuckle. But I I, I made the comment. (laughs) You got to see the I I, I don't know. (laughs) I just, I don't know. You just got to see the the Thank you, Garcia. What he said. What it is. That's just that's just what it is. It's explaining what it's something good. is. That's all. It's, it's not a pejorative term. Somebody that likes to share. That's it. Yeah. It's a new oh, one. a nuchal oh, hum. Yeah. It's a oh, he, he, he. Right. I know what it is, but some people call it a cold <laughs> egg. A 
God. What do I you mean, call it? What do you call it? Ms. I love it. They, yeah. <laughs> love Mm-mm. the nuclear hump. Yep. Which means you love <laughs> The, the love me some nuchal hump. <laughs> <laughs> I like literally can't get enough of the nuchal hump. I don't, well, even, I don't even get it. I mean, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm too much the, of a nerd. The, like, I just I'm I'm full time student in right now, so it, it it's a, it's a nuchal hump. It just sounds like you got your shit together and you learn stuff in books. It yeah, nuchal hump. Then and then you say the other word, and it's just is it an acronym? It sounds dirty. A nuclear, you know? yeah. You there you go with added emphasis. I like that goose, though. Do, do that again. I think that's a cockhead, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, and I'm not from Salem. This is why people need degrees. Who sits around in rooms and get you know, they get paid to say, We're gonna call this nuclear hump a good old fat. Like seriously, hey, okay. <laughs> I want to get paid for that. <coughs> Could you just say that okay. one more time? <laughs> what was that? I didn't quite catch it. For those of you is that that are listening and not uh, watching, KOK is where we're talking about the top of Flora Flowerhorn, uh, the cock. I mean, just imagine this. This not even a great right here. Even a cool going, in, going, in, going on in a room on a scholarly level with people like us. Right now, yeah, but with more degrees. <laughs> I seen a flower horn with big purple cock. <laughs> I seen one there with a big go. veiny going with big veins going through the cock. Yeah, big green. Somebody veins. should do some research on who who named it that. <laughs> yeah. I'm on Google who, who named that? it that. Make a video yeah. about it since you want to talk about it so um, profane. I'm, I'm gonna say you did it though. Is Dude, there any Google it? If you I, I, if you I, I, had I, I, to I, rename I, I, if you had to rename the nuchal hump on a flower horn, aka the cock, what would you call it? Hmm. Cock. Um, <laughs> I would name it. I would name it. You're dirty. It's uh, you no. Know, you probably call it a horn, but bold because it is a flower horn. A, that's used as a slang term well, for I a it. too. You would call it the <laughs> nuchal bud bulge. Call it a horn. Just a bulge. No, I that call it a flower huge cock. <laughs> flower cock. <laughs> That'd be the official name. That for poor it. flower. I call it a boulder. You call oh, it a what? A boulder. Vulva? A boulder. Like a vulva, a but with boulder. bees. Speaking of a vulva, a vulva, I can pull mine out. Your vulva? No, I don't think you should. Even if you could, I don't think you should. <sighs> I thought you were worried about monetizing. No, 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 no. I'm That's not, not your vulva. What is that? That's not your vulva. That's not your vulva. Stop calling uvula. it. Oh my what god, was that? that was so That's long. Your uvula. The, the glurpy thing uvula. that contains the, the uvula. Yeah, uvula. That's a uvula. That's not the same as a vulva. Vulva. What's wrong lower. with you? Did I miss it? Oh, I missed the U. I thought you guys were mispronouncing it. No. Nope. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Did you all see how long that? It was like, uh, I'm yeah, like what kind of X-Man mutant nonsense do you have going on, Andrew? I, I burnt it when I was young, and then it never that, did grow, grow back. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You burnt that St. Louis water, bro. <laughs> I think it's like everywhere in the hood is trash water, because I got a new house over here, and the water's trash. I keep, like real. I keep my vulva firmly in place. <laughs> I bet I can my pull girl. it out. I bet I can well, pull that's it right. how do you how do you how did you know you could do that though? That's my question. That's what I want to know. All right, so we'll do that. fourth of July, I was taking matches and I was putting them out and then blowing the smoke out. Like then I went back too far and said That's what happens when you go back too far. You it gag. swells. Yep. Go on. Go on. You gag. It Mr. swells. Carmen, yeah, That's right there army. with That's you. real army material. Yeah, I bro. thought we were trying to keep this family friendly. What are you I know even talking about, Biz? 
And then Ooh, I told you, you man, look, look, for putting that video. Lie, you that this, no more. I told you. I told y'all. I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all? Old Town Road. I told y'all. I want to see the video. <laughs> Completely out of hand. Anyway, swallow up. Mm-hmm. And I had to ice it down. And then I realized it was like longer than it was. And then I was like, I wonder if I could just get in there and ah, I got a thing out there like that. So like now when I was going to like teacher conferences in like Colorado, they was like, um, name something you can do that no one else can do. I'm like, oh, pull out my vulva. I mean, my uvula. <laughs> my vulva. <laughs> oh, I've been to conferences where that happened. Yeah. You, you, have you? What kind of are, conferences you are go you sure to those there, Conferences huh? and not sex parties. I think they have sex <laughs> What's conferences. The difference? They're the same thing. All them people going to conferences, they all preach. No, no. We had we had business attire that stayed on. There was nothing underneath. And we had conference tables and actual lunches and uh icebreakers. <laughs> I like Jason's version better. What's Jason's Jason? Version? Jason me? That's Jason. Mm-hmm. Nobody calls me yeah, Jason. I, I threw me off. I was like Jason. Who Jason? That's what you're in my phone as. Oh, I'm okay. Exotic's comment right now. Oh, That's Lady Diane, okay, uh, Mr. Green is from St. Louis too. <laughs> That's my fam. That's uh, my name, Jason. But I, I nobody ever calls me that, so it's weird hearing it. Jason Butt is your name. That makes me want to call you. Do you guys have a first name now. rule? Do Say you, what? Do you have a first name rule? Like I have a first name rule. Nobody can call me my first name unless we're related or we're sleeping together. That's my rule. Bro, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, you work for shit. yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why everybody calls me Steve. No, my real name is Steven with a PH, not a V. But everybody calls me Steve. That's what I'm saying. Hey, y'all want to know right now? There's something wrong with my phone right now where everybody's head just glitches really fast, like uh, Max Hedgel. Everybody, all of us. <laughs> it's funny as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna get out because right now everybody is tripping me out. Everybody's like, Ehh. "Wait, let me get, let me get out." I'll be right back. You fell in the matrix. <laughs> Did he take the blue pill or the red pill? Mm, which one would you take? Blue. I don't remember which does what, but I like blue. I'd probably just take both of them. <gasps> Smart. Can I do that? I want to change my no, answer. No, you can't do that. You got to you know, take both of them and then take the blue one and then take the red one and then take the red and blue again to see what happens. Melinda says take I the like that. One. Purple. Yeah. How's that's everybody, how's everybody hit, hit Aquaphone? Normal. Which Man, I got suck. Ah, look at Shane. I forgot about it. The mushrooms <laughs> are kicking in. <laughs> no, it was like Max Hedrum. It looked crazy. <laughs> that junk's kicking in. You it remember in the Matrix man. when, when uh, ever uh, Mr. What's Mr. Garrett? What's the dude name? Mr. Jeff? Mr. Jacks? What's the uh, guy that was chasing him? The, the one that looked like everything. Every the time angel. he said something, it would turn into he would turn into the same guy with the shades that was chasing. Uh, <laughs> Keanu, is that how the heads what were looking at? What are you talking about? The dude in the Matrix, man, with the glasses, the evil, the evil guy that was kept chasing I him. Every time he Matrix touched no him, more. no nah, more. Mr. Smith, oh, Agent Smith. Yes, Mr. Smith. Yeah. So yeah, every time Agent he touched, Smith. it'd be another Mr. Smith. He would just turn into. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it looked like. A whole lot for you guys to just get that. Like, what is the hell? Well, you ain't really you kidding, don't buddy. have real <laughs> smart friends, buddy. Bruh, that's you crazy. I didn't go through all of that. <laughs> well, if you had remembered his name, we would have known. Oh, that's I know. Smith. Y'all, y'all seen the damn man. This guy talking about some man. Nobody watched Matrix no more. No more. It was a freaking movie back then. I was just talking about when you watched it. <laughs> You better quit crunching those damn crackers. What I are those, swear. Girls? 
Jesus. I don't know why I thought that was Wick cereal. Bro. It's worse than eating crackers in bed, eating bro, crackers on stream. Cheetos, corn curls. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Your mouth is going to be super cheesy and dry. Are you going to just be yeah. tasting cheese, but it's just going to be at the roof of your mouth? You're like, ah. I'm mukbanging right now. You're going to have the worst cheesy cotton mouth in the stream. <laughs> Not me. Oh, my God. Yo, did y'all know Jesus was around for 100 years? How long have you been eating it? Same. <laughs> you have to have a permanent enema for that if you eat all that all day. <laughs> Are you going to oh ask us some questions? Yeah. Are you going to ask us some hot seat questions? What's up? Hell no. First of all, it's the hot spot. Man, get it right. Make sure you know where you're at. Hot seat, hot spot. What's the difference? It's a big difference. Oh, the difference <laughs> is respect, my friend. <laughs> It's respect. Put some speck on it. Put some speck on it. <laughs> if you could pick a movie title, to describe your life. What would it be? Oh damn! You wanted one. There you go. Oh damn! Can I mix like three movies? No. Yeah. Damn. I don't know, bro. Mix three. All right. Yeah. It's Mighty Joe one. Young, Congo. Godzilla. Well, it'd be it'd be it'll be um it'll be Antoine Fisher, the color purple, and boys in the hood. Oh my yeah. god. All None of them three have anything to do with each other. Liquid Zoo. Yeah, the hot seat he is at that Rob you, you. so much respect to him. I'm the hot spot. Let's get it right. You said who? Antoine Fisher, Purple Rain. And boys in the hood. No, the say, color right? purple. The color purple. <laughs> the color purple. Uh, we have reached sixty nine watchers right now. Sixty nine. Holla! There you That's go. That's a good number. <laughs> sixty eight is better. You want to receive and give at the same time. Sixty eight. <laughs> That's the number. Oh my god! What's sixty eight? I would have to be like, yeah, sixty eight. What do you is like? like most you about? Just, is that like when you just sit there and go through the motions because you're really just selfish and you want it to be over with because she's heavy? Because she's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What's that got to do with anything? Are we, are we that like, shaming here? Hold on. That's, that's just so little. You already crazy. know it. You don't want to be up on that. that is just some bullshit. <laughs> I should have ended this stream a long time ago. This is all backstage action. We should be <laughs> yeah, bro, I was, I was cool with that? everything until the last part because she's <laughs> heavy. <laughs> he says that like and, it's a bad thing. He said it in that in that Texas twang because she heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. 68 is, is kind of like a 69, except you do me and I owe you one. So it's exactly oh, what he was saying. Yeah, exactly what. <laughs> except for the heavy part. Go the motions, who's, you know? who's going you know for that? Because <laughs> oh. she heavy. Now I got an IOU in the bedroom. <laughs> you be looking at the car. Hey man, what's this? <laughs> this absolutely has you. nothing to do with fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I owe you. <laughs> Yo, that killed me. Everything was cool. I was like, okay. Okay, oh, cause she's heavy. Cause she's heavy. What do you I like most about where you grew up? It's like cause she's heavy. What do I like most about where I grew up? Honestly, what I like about what I grew where I grew up is people's misconceptions of where I, Brooklyn, it, what people think Brooklyn was or Brooklyn is or what it's like. I think it's down. funny. Oh, Brooklyn, the boogie down, baby. No, that's the Bronx. Oh well, what's Brooklyn's? The BK Brooklyn all day, Zoo. Brooklyn Zoo. BK Brooklyn all day. Zoo. Oh. What's up, son? Timberland what Boots. About, man. What about what about you, Steve? Houston. Um, same thing. The misconceptions, you know, the cultural yeah. diversity, the food. It's it's nice, you know. Um, I don't know what people automatically think of. I don't, I don't know the hood. I think of uh, that music. Like popular, whatever yeah. you see on BET, those stereotypical 
perpetuation, but no, nah, it it's not like that here at all. Good. What about you, Shannon? You think I grew up in like Beirut or something like that. When I say, yeah, I was from Brooklyn, they're like, oh, you got out alive? You know what I'm <laughs> I mean, that's where most of your TV shows, when they're shot there, that's someone's a New York undercover, yeah. 21 Jump Street. True, true. Hey, r- real talk, though, um, where I grew up, the block I grew up on Brooklyn is where they filmed the first Death Wish with uh, Charles Bronson. Look the at first that. one. Death Wish. Of course people are going to ask you, did you die? <laughs> <laughs> did I die? <laughs> Nah, man. Bartholomew moves from Buffalo, man. <laughs> uh, Shannon, what about oh, you? Well, they said Houston has something besides strip club, but we do have like the same number of churches and strip clubs. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got a lot of them. BYOB, too. Like, and the first time I went to a strip club that was not Houston and the girls had clothes on, I did. I thought it was like, I didn't understand, but I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Uh, Shanna, <laughs> same question. So I grew up out in the woods, like in the country, in the sticks. Like and I saw like bears and uh, the potential to see Bigfoot. What the fuck? <laughs> Sam Squatch. Sam Squatch. <laughs> Shout out to I haven't found um, him yet, so I'm working on Tinder. You know, girl's got to do what she's got to do. Very nice. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know the difference between all those websites. I was, I think they're all those nasty websites to hook up. Well, I think that it just kind of depends on whether or not you hook up. Like, like what's the difference you can between find Tinder what you're and looking Grindr. for? Grinders for guys to for guys. use to find guys. So it's oh, so all guys you? all the time. Mm-hmm. It's man on man. And uh-huh. Tinder's everything. Uh, <laughs> gonna I go thought they you. was all just to hook up. Gonna get you a grinder account, aren't you? You break up with the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Someone Maybe. that looks like Patrick Ewing. <laughs> Patrick Ewing, that's right. Patrick Ewing. Hey, Patty, Patrick you out there? Ewing. Okay. Yeah. Huh? No, no. If, if I was gonna be gay, I'd hook up with a tall guy so they could so I could reach the top counter, the top shelf. I'm tired <laughs> of getting having to climb up on the damn actually, counter. Actually, I mean, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I want it's gonna be better than it. Forever. 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 Get a whole man in the <laughs> like, it's, it's forever. <laughs> what you what you say you appreciated about me, um, Steve? <laughs> I ain't got no what? Yeah. He'd rather, Shame. He'd, rather, he'd rather get a whole man than a step stool. I mean, <laughs> come even, on, bro. Even move the table, get one of those squeaky joints. <laughs> nope. Nope. Patrick, I mean, you like know. like a, a bucket, something like you can flip a bucket over, bro. I mean, <laughs> no, nope. I, right. I need a seven footer in my life. <laughs> I, mean, come on, I do. I like absolutely. That's you and, and see, he's ugly now. Look, see, mm. see, and this is this is the beauty about it. Patrick, if you're, you're over six, six, six it gotta... doesn't even matter what their face looks like. like I, but see, you don't have to worry about like somebody trying to take them though. I ain't got to worry about somebody trying to steal my man. Yes, you do. Those hussies will do. They're scandalous. Hey, man. He's ugly. Never trust. Hey, it we're, doesn't we're matter. Getting back into that realm where I'm Yeah, bro. I don't, I don't hey, even want to be. Yeah. You've thought about this too much. I got nothing, I got nothing to do. Like, I'm, I can, I'm, I, like, this is too, like, really, bro? This dude's holding a knife, talking about having a seven foot. Come on, bro. He just needs a man to get the soup on the top shelf. <laughs> That's not the what I need Patrick doing for. Hey, wow. baby, baby, get me the spaghettios, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, moving on. Moving on. Yeah. All Let's right. Talk about animals or something. <laughs> More, yeah, because I got some meat. I got some meat. I got to flip. 
<laughs> yeah, you and me. Oh, you get mad because I'm talking about Patrick Ewing. You talk about flipping somebody's meat. <laughs> my own meat, bro. I haven't ever heard of flipping it. My I own meat. To fill me <laughs> in. We're back to 69. <laughs> no, I thought y'all decided on 68 and let the girl owe you one. No, we're at 69 viewers. Oh, we're back down to 68. Someone left. We're back to owing one. <laughs> Oh my God, man! All right, so one Ask more, question, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit my barbecue real quick. Uh, is that what you call it? What's the best? What's the best coworker you ever had? Bong. <laughs> mm. I can't say that. No. <laughs> Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapples. The best coworker. Uh, he's gonna answer. Damn, I don't think I've ever had one. Yep, I'm smurfing, bro. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, and if you know what that means, I can say nothing else. <laughs> I gotta Google it. What's the Urban Dictionary for smurfing? It hmm. sounds dirty. Nah, I'm just no. It sounds it sounds smurfy. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. It's smurftacular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shannon, you know, looking it up. Shannon looking it up. Yeah, you gotta have another. You gotta have another good. Uh, good Smurfing question. is a money laundering technique involving structuring the structuring of large amounts of cash into multiple small transactions. Yeah, it's the Smurfiest. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you let someone enter your back Smurf. <laughs> Oh, there's something else for it too, but I don't think I'm supposed to read it. Stupid. Hold on, read it, read it, read it, read it. But don't say the words. Okay. Smurfing. Is it like a dirty Sanchez? Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh my goodness. Smurfing. That was trying to figure out how to say it without saying it. That would be Smurfy. What is it? Do it. Say it again. Like I have literally had to tune you guys out because I don't want Come to. Come on, Smurf, Smurfette. <laughs> Give it okay. to Papa Smurf. So Smurfing <laughs> is the act of putting your partner in some sort of while having sex until their face turns. I never point, heard of that. You pull oh, and. By Hold proceeding up. to give your blue faced partner a for added effect, you can let loose some loose a cackle sil similar to Gargamel, the evil villain, also <laughs> popular from the 80s television show. <laughs> okay. I didn't understand. Choke until blue. there's so many things, so many things could have been added into those blanks. Yeah. Choke so many blue. that should be your next mad lib. <laughs> okay, the, uh, yeah, I, I can't do that. And I would like to thank my non-melanated friends for that vivid, vivid, vivid depiction of some crazy shit that people do. <laughs> wow. Food coloring is easy. Uh, you guys have some remember. wild shit in the chat, man. Yeah, wow. That is, yeah. Um, Smurf is a code word for when people are present um, that, you know, don't necessarily need to be. Oh, you just smurf in front of every smurf? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a code word. Man. <laughs> hey, I can't talk about that right now. Because there's people that don't necessarily need to hear it. It's a cold word. <laughs> How you like oh, that, God. Smurfy? Choke I'm them until they turn blue and then let out a cackle like Gargamel. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like some LSD induced bullshit. I don't know what else. Azriel. Wow. Azriel. <laughs> oh, wow. That, that, that's like some clockwork orange type shit. You, know? you just smurfed the hell out of me. Like, Good yeah. Smurfy. Walking around kicking people, hitting them with a cane, you know. Gargamel cackling and breaking bases over people's heads. I'll get you, you <laughs> like this, Smurfs. Okay, I'll hold on. I have to read you this. It's being wow. used in a sentence. My girl passed okay. out last night after we were smurfing. When she finally woke up, I told her she looked like Grumpy Smurf. She was not amused. <laughs> and with that, I gotta go flip my meat. Love we all gotta go flip our meat, man. We're all out of here. Listen, hey, chat, thank you for stopping staying through with us to the fishy bis after. 
50, what, what, who, what's my name? Fisty Bitch <laughs> After Dark. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys all. It is almost 11 o'clock and I really appreciate you all. Everybody super chat, everybody in the chat, everybody that stayed to chat. Shanna, you are a gracious co-host and I really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. And with that, for everybody that um, has been sending me your prayers and your love for my um, for my daughter that has passed, man, I thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you all. Um, I will, of course, keep you guys posted, but um, I just want to say that uh, you know she's in a better place, and I'm happy that she is, and um, I will never ever stop loving her, of course, and that's just how that's going to go. So um keep your prayers coming they are definitely needed and wanted and um thanks i appreciate it shanna thank you all so much for coming and remember if you can't be good just be good at it there we go and as always the wet stuff is the best stuff and i'm out thanks y'all <laughs>